I'd just been reading an article on Michelle Obama and the importance of nutrition, and she was going on quite at length about the importance of breakfast, and I've always said that myself, if I don't have my breakfast, I don't have any energy. So I think it's really important. Now, when you've got young kids like I have, I can stuff the spoon into the five-year-old's mouth, but the nine-year-old, almost there, the 13-year-old forget it at the moment, saying, you gotta eat something, you gotta eat something, love. So I think it's really important, but it's always a struggle to get your children to eat, but I think it's important to try and do it if you can. I feel as children are getting older and going into the teenage years, there definitely is a drop off. Um, and certainly many adults are skipping and rushing out in the mornings without breakfast. There are health concerns about consumption of sugar, in particular the effects of sugars consumed frequently between meals on uh, tooth decay. And we also have some evidence pointing towards high intakes of sugars consumed uh, in sweetened drinks may contribute to weight gain. However, these uh, effects of sugar are not associated with consuming sugar at main meals. And uh, the evidence suggests that consumption of sugars at main meals is not a concern for health. Most homes also are very stressed in the morning. So you're trying to get your kids dressed, you're trying to find their shoes. I find that's a big problem. Little kids leave their shoes everywhere. Um, so I think most people know in the back of their head that breakfast is important. I think in the past people used to worry, oh, is there any point in me giving my child this cereal if it's too much sugar? But that professor today, actually, I found him really interesting because he was saying, look, cereal is really important if you have it in the morning, because that's all most children will eat with milk. It's actually fine in the course of a meal. And don't worry about anything else. I thought, happy days. Well, from the research that we did on primary school children in Ireland, we found that practically all of them eat breakfast on a regular basis. And this is a very important habit that they develop at that age, which may carry through into other stages of life. The other important point was that the quality of the breakfast in terms of its contribution to the daily diet is quite high. The message we want to get across is that people shouldn't be skipping breakfast. Breakfast is are always regarded as the most important meal of the day. And um, I suppose uh, we all have our own uh, different products in this, but between ourselves uh, with the oatmeal, uh, Kellogg's and Nestle, uh, we've all come together to have the one message, which is uh, don't skip your breakfast. If you have a good breakfast at the start of the day, it means you don't need to go and uh, doing the snacking uh, later on. I think it's about um, having convenient things available. Um, certainly a bit of pester power helps um, from the research we saw. It's certainly, you know, those that are pestered and encouraged will certainly in be inclined to take a little bit more. But I think having, op you know, quick fix options available is really important, um, whether it's in, in the place of things like cereal bars, you know, um, things that they can microwave when they get into school or work. Um, any of those options certainly can make it more useful.